two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. Podcast with Stefan. Matthias. And we are talking Italiano beers this episode. Do you know I actually studied Italian for two years? I did not know that. So impress us with your Italian. Let's hear some Italian. I can say gelato, which means ice cream. Yes, I it does. I can say calcio, which means football. All right. And I can ask you how you are. Let's we'll see you. Um, Ciao. Come stai. Ciao. Ciao. Come yeah. stai. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's how I was greeted so many times. Come well, stai. I could imagine. Bitch. <laughs> I could imagine. It was pretty much everyone was like that. Yeah. And uh, buona suera. Good night. Yes. And uh, bonjour. Yeah, yeah. Prego. 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 Um, so yeah, I spent uh, two weeks in Italy. Um, I hope you have enjoyed our Instagram post of uh, beers, beers, of summer. beers of summer. Uh, hashtag beers of summer. Um, I hope you... Hashtag your own beers of summer. Hashtag your own beers of summer. And let us know what you're drinking on Instagram. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, we're doing that all summer long, just posting beers. And so while well, I've uh, been on vacation for the past two weeks, drinking heavily... And trying a lot of beers, as many beers as I could in Italy from as many different breweries in the uh, Milan and uh, Tuscany region. Yep. Um, so did you find any, um, like, golden nuggets? Uh, yeah, I found uh, Crack, C-R-A-K. You found Crack? I found Crack. Nice. So it you're was, back uh, into your old routine again? It was not whack, um, <laughs> if you can believe that. Um, speaking of which, on a side note, have you watched Glow? on no. uh, Insta- Oh, it's so good. Um, and it's a Just talking about crack because because there's a there's a there's a in the, one of the last episodes there's a big thing about crack. Oh, uh, it's really funny. But Glow on uh, Netflix is amazing. You have to watch this. Okay, well we, we, uh, we were looking for a new show to watch. Yeah, you're so. gonna you're gonna just like uh, watch them all back to back. It's so much right. fun. It's one of those. Yeah, it's it's really a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so Crack had a New England IPA, which was amazing. Probably the best uh, beer I tried. Um, what, what was really surprising was how many breweries, uh, pretty much every Italian brewery does a barley wine. Um, and they don't do a high ABV barley wine. It's probably, most of them were in the 8 9%, um, which I felt was really low for a barley wine. Yeah, because I mean, usually you see barley wines of like 10% and up, yeah. usually. Yeah, that, that's, that's where... Well, especially I, the American ones, at least. Yeah. Uh, and so I was really surprised by that. Um, and I asked uh, one of the guys at uh, one of the bottle shops there why, why there were so many um, barley wines in Italy and they said well we just have a ton of access to barley and we can just make them really easily so uh, I didn't actually try any while I was there but I brought uh, one back for us to try that oh, nice. um, is, is very highly reviewed um, but yeah I tried um, uh, Lambretti did really good stuff uh, Baladin Lover Beer um, uh, Brewfist does a Space Band IPA, yeah, which is really good. Uh, highly recommend that one. Um, not a lot of not a lot of IPAs, a lot of uh, lagers, a lot of uh, strong ales, um, a lot of strong ales. Like everyone well, did a Belgian strong, strong ale, ale today. Right? I did. Yeah, I brought. Uh, yeah, a Bel- um, Yeah, the Bruton Saint Rena um, strong ale, and then um, something from a new up and coming brewery called. Cado Brado, um, called the Pi Veloci. The Pi Veloce. Pi Veloce. There you go. Again, my Italian is a uh, impeccable. Needs a bit of work. Uh, no, it's 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 spot on. Um, but it's a Brett L. So I know how much you love Brett beers. Oh, I love that shit. So I'm I'm very interested to. I think this one was is. probably bottled a little bit too early because it gushed the shit out of the it bottle. It spewed everywhere. Yeah. Um, it made quite the mess and had to run outside and and. Uh, let it foam over because yeah. <laughs> it was it was quite a, a quite a mess um but yeah so i would say italy is amazing and if you get the chance you should definitely go had some some good wine some amazing food um and then just tried a ton of beers probably three or four beers a day uh for two weeks um <laughs> just to try to get in as many different breweries and and styles and and types as i could find yeah and i i can't say I duplicated too many breweries when I was there. There was always a new brewery to try and, and new beers to try. 
Um, and while Italy, I don't think, is known for their, I think they're relatively new and young in the beer scene, um, I think give them maybe three or four more years, let them find their, their footing a little bit better, I think you're going to see some really amazing stuff coming out of Italy in the future. Nice. Um, I would say their IPA game is, is rather weak. I didn't really try any IPAs except for the, the crack New England IPA um, that I was just blown away by, but um, they're doing a lot of a lot of promising things down there. So Cool. So soon wine and beer they will be known for. Well, wine they're already kind yeah. of known for. Yeah. So, I mean, it would only be a well. Uh, I completely lost words there, but um, it's only a matter of time. Yes. Until uh, they would be known for beer as well. Well, like in Milan, I think there were at least five breweries based in Milan, uh, three to five breweries. Uh, Florence had uh, two or three. Uh, Bruton, which is one of the ones we're going to be trying tonight, was right outside of Luca, where, where I spent uh, a week. Um, and then just in the countryside, they were just scattered around uh, with breweries. So um, there was a lot of a lot of different places um, brewing stuff and uh, you know trying to, to find their footing. Nice. All right. So uh, what's up first? So first up is the Calabrado. Uh, Pia Veloce. Pia Veloce. Pia Veloce. Pia Veloce. Um, a rather really nice, there's a man and a sloth running through what looks to be hair. Or there's a man and a sloth. A sloth. That's a kind of amazing label. That is a weird, amazing label. I like the other beer. It's kind of uh, funny as well because Brett kind of works kind of slow. So. Mm -hmm. I probably should not have opened this one so early, but whatever. <laughs> so 7.4%. Um, it's a 37.5 liter bottle. Doesn't have anything to do with anything, but I just I would say that anyway. Oh, you just wanted to say just, it. Just felt like saying that. Um, and they are out of Pianoro Italia. <laughs> Which means Italy. Yep, that's yep. how it translates. There you go. Thank you. Uh, just go ahead and read that label and translate it for me real quick. Just on the uh, fly. Go for it. Come on. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> uh, Okay, well, it's going to be butchered Italian. But yeah, that's fine. Brett Ale uh, Maturata in Grandi Botti di Rovere. You got to translate it on the fly as well. I don't oh, you can on read the fly. It. Yeah, you had to translate oh, it on shit. the fly. Well, okay, so <laughs> it's, it's our uh, fun. <laughs> it's a Brett Ale matured in uh, big oak age uh, oak uh, casks, mm -hmm. uh, refermented with uh, Brettanomyces bruxellensis. It utilizes the uh, something or something else. Oh, they actually use Brett in the primary fermentation, and they add. They actually add fresh grapes to it as well. It's well from my shitty Italian knowledge here, mm -hmm. at least. So it reminisces of uh, tropical fruit notes. All right. Um, mm -mm. A touch of acid. Um, uh, it uses American hops to get a uh, aromatic bouquet. All right, I think you, you killed it, man. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. And so this has a really nice um, apricotty uh, Ooh, color to it. it. Smells really nice. Yeah, it smells great. I like the if you give it a little uh, agitation there, it kind of frosts up a little bit because it was frothy as hell out of the bottle. Really great nose Smell on it. Smell is very apricotty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cheers, cheers. Hmm. Man, I really like that. And this is the one, like I said, the mouthfeel. I mean, you can really feel the effervescent nature yeah. of the um, the bubbles, and really adds to the bouquet of the, the apricots um, that you're getting out of this. It's super dry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is very, very dry, clean finish, I think. Yeah, you, you can you're never gonna miss out that it's Brett from Edit. Oh no, this is <laughs> definitely Brett. This is all over Brett. If you don't like Brett beers, you're not gonna like this probably. <clears throat> no, you would not be a huge fan. But I mean luckily both you and I absolutely love that shit. Yeah. So no, I it's kind of fun to try and uh, to try a, a new and up and coming Italian brewery. Because I mean, it's not often that you get to try this stuff. 
No, we, and, don't, and, we don't get these guys here. No, we don't. Um, which is funny because Brewdog in Malmo has a Tucumalto uh, tap takeover right now, or at oh, least yeah, they've true. got like six of their beers on tap. But I mean, I think Tucumato and um, uh, Lover Beer are stuff that you can usually Brewfist get. Brewfist you can find around here. Brewfist you can find. Yeah. Uh, Brewfist is one who did the um, collaboration with Prairie, right? The Spaghetti Western? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can find that on the shelves in uh, System Log. And yeah. you can find Baladin quite often. Baladin is also one of the ones yeah. you can find, yeah. But I mean, it's usually those four. And then that's it. But, I think mean, this is really, really nice. Mm-hmm. These guys are... Uh, I only found this particular brewery in one bottle shop. Um, and they had six of their beers available, and I bought two different ones. Yeah. Um, and the other one was, uh, I can't remember what it was, but one had uh, white wine in it, and the other one had red wine in it. And I got the one with the white wine. Oh, nice. So I'm really looking forward to trying that uh, soon. Oh, you still have that? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did know. Oh, nice. I was still saving it to uh, bring back. So Awesome. Yeah, I was really, really excited about this brewery. Um, oh, no the white wine one is the one that you uh, told me about when you yeah. were there, right? Yeah. 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 Man, I really like this one. So is, is the white wine one uh, based on this, but just with added white wine? or? I'll be honest with you. I um, It's been a week and a half, and I don't really remember. <laughs> All right. Maybe two weeks at this point, so um, I'll have to look at the bottle again. Sure. We'll get back to uh, get back to our listeners on that one. Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, maybe, maybe post something on the in the show notes. Doubtful, yeah, but well, beers of summer, right? Yeah, beers of summer. Yeah, yeah. definitely beers of summer. We'll yeah. we'll, uh, we'll crack it open. You're going on. Uh, I just I'm just coming off of uh, summer break, and you're about to go into summer going break. On so my we'll do break, a, so. we'll uh, we'll have you over. We'll do a grill out one night and, and do some beers. Oh, we got to do a big smoke out. Oh yeah, yeah. Sounds good. All right. What's the um, what's your next offering from? Uh, well, oh, we got to rate this. Yeah. yeah. Actually, what yeah. I like about this. It's how clean it is. Yeah. It's very refreshing. Even though it gushed all over uh, the table. Yeah. The table and, and the, the floor, floor and the and the balcony. balcony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it um I mean, it's super refreshing and light and I'm I'm fawning a bit. Um so I'm gonna go ahead and rate this. I'm gonna give it a uh, a four two five. Yeah. Um I'm probably gonna give it a four. Four? Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. And the next beer is uh, Saint Rena from Bruton. And um, uh, it's a Italian strong beer flavored. Um, like I said, they love the strong beers in Italy. I think every brewery pretty much made a barley wine and two or three different versions of strong beers. Um, if you want to read the back of that, you're welcome to as well. Do I have to? Sure. Just for my amusement. Oh, and everyone else's. Oh, it's so sweet. It smells so sweet just in the nose. It looks really shitty in the glass. Oh, the glass is just a dirt... It's like a muddy mess. Dirt brown. Yeah. It's like a muddy mess of sugar and raisins. Oh, it smells super sugary. Yeah. Um, well, there's not really that much to read. Right? Yeah. Too much easier for you. It's re-fermented in the bottle. Uh, it's going to age well. There's a lot of natural sediment in the bottom, so keep it upright and serve at 10 to 12 degrees centigrade. Perfect. Everything we need to know. Yep. <laughs> this comes in at what, 9% I believe? 9%, yeah. Okay. So you may have opened this a little early. Uh, who knows? Well, but probably the, not. The people, the people that I uh, I told that I bought this said they were, I did a good choice. That this was a, a really great beer. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, getting into this. Nice. Yeah, but the color is a. Um, it's a muddy it brown. Is a dark. Well, I wouldn't say dark brown, but yeah, kind of a dish dirt water, dirt water brown color. Yeah, it smells like raisins. Yeah, super super sweet in the nose. All, All right, right, cheers. cheers. But really smooth. Yeah, surprisingly smooth. Wow. I mean, I don't. There is a lot of raisin in it. The there taste. is a lot of raisin in it. I thought it was just going to be so ungodly sweet, but it's not. It is not at all. No. It is. It's actually quite tasty. It, it looks is. like shit. <laughs> yeah, it's got a horrible, horrible color to it. It's like it's not appetizing at all. This is not one you want to hold the light and really no. reflect on no. the the beauty of the color. 
Um, and there's but, absolutely uh, no uh, no carbonation in this hardly at all. I mean, there's it, it, no head retention at all. No, no, no. It, you can really have to agitate to get any kind of a yeah, it dissipates really out of it. fast. Yeah. And as then well, it just so. it just falls apart. Yeah. Um, but it tastes really nice, actually. Mm -hmm. I was like when I saw what you had poured in the glass. Yeah. I was a little bit hesitant. I I, I, I be honest with you, I was very hesitant. I was like, yeah. oh, this is going to be rough. Yeah. Because I've had quite a few of the strong L's in. Um, when I was there, and they were all just super boozy, yeah, and uh, sweet, and just not very, um, not very exciting at all. But um, this doesn't this is not feel boozy at all. nine percent in any way. No, it's not boozy at all. Nope, and um, it's just smooth and pleasant. It's it's caramelly, but not cloyingly so. No, exactly, because I mean that's one of the things that I kind of don't enjoy about the um, well. Strong ales in general is mm -hmm. that they usually get like cloyingly caramelly. Yeah, and it's just like a bunch of caramel sweetness in your face, and it's nothing else. Yeah, and like 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 boozy and caramelly. Right, like I had the um, Baladin uh, uh, super bitter, yeah. which was like just caramelly sweet. It wasn't bitter in any way whatsoever. It was just caramel sweetness. It was caramel sweetness, and uh, it was good. But I had a hard time finishing that bottle, and it wasn't like a big bottle. It was just a standard 33 centimeters, and it was um, it was the first half was really good, but the second half was a bit of a struggle. You usually don't have a hard time finishing little ones. I don't. <laughs> ha ha ha! You're so funny. Your jokes just crack me up. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I gotta say, I'm really pleasantly surprised yeah me too i'm i'm looking forward to the, you did two good choices in to the barley wine yeah, yeah i uh, as well and um look forward to uh trying more from bruton yeah well do you have any more that you brought over i have the limes which we can uh oh, we, nice, we can yeah. try the show right now yeah. if you want or we can save it for for afterwards it's the uh the saison that i mentioned in with the lime line. yeah with well next thing there's no lime in it no no idea why it's called limes <laughs> Maybe it's uh, limes. Maybe that's an Italian word for something else. No, it's, everyone said it was called limes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you know, you never know. It, you never know. A thing, but no, yep. it was actually they, they pronounced it limes. All right. Um, Maybe they just Americanized it for you. No, no, I'm pretty sure that they <laughs> they all called it limes. All right. Um, and it's a saison uh, with uh, grape must. Oh, that's kind of one of my favorite things. You want to break it out? Sure. All right. Yeah, why not? We'll go get it because you vamp for shit and I can vamp. Uh, oh, sure. You'll, yeah. you'll sit here like a lump, uh, quiet, staring at your phone. You're a lot better at that. Yeah, I am. <laughs> um, so, Chantrick, how's it going over there? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying this, the Italian beers. I think this is your uh, third out of four episodes. Uh, maybe five episodes that you've been on. <laughs> Indeed. In the uh, in the play order that we've put them out. I'm your groupie. You apparently. are my groupie, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of um, of both of these beers? I also really enjoyed the one with the nice carbonation. The the Piavolosa. The one that I can't pronounce, and I can't pronounce the other one. And I agree, this one smelled extremely sweet. And for me, I'm still dipping my toes in that type of beer, but it was smooth. Yeah, it was very say, smooth was and like, Did you bring glasses as well? Nope. You're just going to swig off the bottle. So are brown bag it. <laughs> You're going to be brown bagging that bad boy? Yep. All right. So what we're going to try is called Limes. Uh, it's the Vendamia 2016. Maybe they, they lying to us. <laughs> <laughs> no limes. Uh, and it's an Italian golden ale uh, with uh, vermentillo um, grape must in it. And oh, your um, mom got in there. Yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just maybe we shouldn't have you on the show anymore. <laughs> I'm going to rethink this policy of of extra guest. Um, but it is a a, a saison. I thought you said it was a golden ale. Well, it says. This is Italian gold nail on it, but if you, you look at it on um, 
un untapped, it's a, a saison. It's a golden saison. It's a golden ale saison. <laughs> no type. It's a new style. <laughs> yep. All right, let's pass that around. This is also from, like I said, Bruton. And, Play uh, Plego. <laughs> this kind of almost looks a little bit like champagne with the the bubblies. Uh, mm, the bubblies. The bubblies collecting up through the glass. Uh, looks really like you nice. in a hot tub. Yep. <laughs> you can or, definitely get the the grape must out of it though. Yeah, it's got that barnyardy funk to it as well that you love. And this is the interesting one because when you uh, you can tell the Italian Italian breweries don't do a lot of saisons and farmhouse ales. Because the people that like saisons and farmhouse really like this, and the people that oh yeah yeah, yeah. That's that, that don't like the Ooh, saison and farmhouse do not like it. Yeah, I think this is really nice. This would be a good substitution actually for like sham or uh, sparkling sort of wine. Sparkling yeah. wine. Yeah, yeah. On yeah it's a got. Day. Yeah, like I said, it's you can. I mean, you can see the bubbles kind of coming off the sides of the glass, and yeah, it may be even better in a champagne fluid almost. It might be, yeah. Yeah, this is this is really nice. I, I quite enjoyed it um, before, and they apparently they do one of these every year, a new a new variety of it. Or I think the one thing that is kind of annoying is that what was it, like eight point five percent. It really doesn't need to be that high. No, no, no. This could be much much lighter. If this was like a a four point five, it would be a lot better summer beer. Yeah, you know, I did have an imperial saison while I was there. A super saison. Yep. Yeah, I um I didn't think I'd ever this had one before. This is basically a super saison. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realize what the a the ABV on this was um, yeah. at the time, but um, this is quite high. <laughs> yeah, I mean that would be the only thing that I would knock it on because I mean it, it tastes really good and you get the grape must and you get like the classic saison flavors out of it, but I mean eight point five for a saison it's it's way it's just high, way too high. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be. I mean it doesn't taste boozy. No, at all. Um, I think it has a really great, uh, really great flavor to it, and you could easily pound this without realizing it was. Yeah, 8. I, I mean that's where the problem kicks in, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind of a shame. Yeah, but I mean it tastes good. So, yeah, I'm glad you like it. I um I thought it was really good. It ended up being two bottles um by accident, and it just turned out to be a happy accident. Oh, definitely. Yeah, the because uh, I went to the brewery. Um, because I was reading the reviews on it, and they were like, "Oh, they serve, you know, they have food, and you can uh, you can buy the beers and stuff." Like, oh, well, great! We're gonna swing by for lunch. They open at like twelve, uh, which is kind of the standard um, lunchtime uh, in Italy. And uh, the woman that um, that had to had to ring the buzzer for them to buzz me in, and then it was like, "Well, they probably haven't served food here in quite a while." So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when these reviews are written. Um, but I was able to order a few bottles, or just get some a few bottles there. Um, and the woman was like, you want two bottles? I'm like, sure, whatever. I don't want to. <laughs> Her English was like, she didn't speak it. Uh, so I just went with the flow. Do a bottiglio. Yeah, yeah. So it turned out um, it turned out to be a happy accident. Okay. Thanks. So uh, right. what would you what so would we're you gonna, give this? We're going to rate all of them? Oh, or? yeah, sure. We'll rate all. Uh, so first of all, the uh, Pio Veloce. Oh, we rated that one. Oh, did we? A four, yeah. two, five, and a four. Okay. But the, we had the strong ale, mm -hmm. or the raisin ale, or what do you call it? Um, <clears throat> I mean, appearance-wise, it's just a murky mess. Yeah, it I mean, is. But taste-wise, it, it actually tastes really good. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, I mean, we got to rate the overall experience, right? Right. So, I'm going to give it like a, a 3.5. All right. I'm gonna go a little bit higher, uh, with three seven five, mm -hmm. but um, I it's a uh, only because I think the the flavor and the delivery is is uh, so good. It just brings it up. It just bit, brings yeah. up a little bit. It overcomes the. I gotta say, as it warms the, up, it becomes a little does bit it, a little more, little more yeah. sweet to it. Yeah, it's like a little bit harder to uh, to finish off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. You gotta drink it cold. Yeah, cold on a hot day. Yeah, it'll be perfect. Yeah, no, I can see where now it's like be becoming one of those that you're gonna struggle with. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and then the limes um, or the limes, as you want to call it. I mean, as I said, like the only thing that's gonna knock it down is the ABV that's really high. Um, so I mean, I'm gonna put that at like a three point seven five. Yeah, I'm, I think uh, I think that's what I gave it as well. Yeah. I, I totally agree with you on that one. All right. 
All right, cool. So, so what we've learned. Where can you find us? Well, wait. But so what we've All learned right. Right. is that Italy showed a lot of promise, doing some good stuff. Two years from now, it's probably going to be a booming, uh, booming yeah, beer industry. Yeah, I, I hope to see uh, Bruton putting more stuff out. Yeah, uh, coming out, uh, expanding their um, their uh, sphere of influence into other areas outside of uh, Italy. Um, and the other brewery, um, what was it called again? Calabrado. I hope to see more of them on the shelves. Yeah. Maybe um, McKellar or uh, yeah. Kiosk or somebody will or, discover them and, and yeah. start bringing them in because they are doing some interesting things. At least that's one beer is very interesting. I look forward to trying the other one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you can find us online. Yep. Yeah. And where's that? Uh, what's on tap? Podcast.com, mm-hmm. Facebook, Instagram, Stitcher. And what was the other one? iTunes. iTunes. No, not that one. The new one. Yeah, that's what I remember. Pod Chaser. Pod Chaser. Okay. What? Oh, Enchanter. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Just telling you guys doing a good job. Oh, well, I appreciate your All enthusiasm. Right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess keep drinking. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.